Pleasant good morning to each and every one right here. How you all doing? Everybody's good? Good, good. I was wondering what happened to your cameras, guys. I am all here. Right. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Listen, it's never, good morning. never, never, never a bad thing. Never a bad thing, Squeeze, to start off the show with the best looking of the three. So my camera <laughs> is on. <laughs> All right. I see you already in the office. I am. I am. All right. Good. Okay. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Conrad, good morning. Good morning, Nelson. Good morning, Adam Handler. No pit, no, no camera. All is well with you? All good. Yeah. Adam was some uh, technical issues. Oh, he is? Okay. Yeah. All right. Not a problem. All right, so let's jump into it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We are here live, of course, on, of course, uh, Facebook and uh, also, of course, the radio. And that is, of course, 93.5 WVIP FM. Want to say a pleasant good morning, reaching out to each and every one. And as my colleagues set everything up on this side, want to thank each and every one for joining us this morning. We are here doing what's called cruising with the case handler. But I don't know where the case handler is, so we'll stand by and wait for him to join us right here. It's 93.5, it's WVIP, it's uh, Facebook. Uh, once again, asking each and every one to actually share right now, so this way we can actually build up the audience on the social media side. Hopefully you all have had a wonderful weekend. And of course, we're going to jump right into it. So let's just get right into it. Conrad, you had a good weekend? Uh, I did. Uneventful, quiet, but yes, it was a nice, relaxing weekend. Absolutely. Thank you for asking. Oh, that's good. What about you, Nelson? Although I interrupted your weekend. Oh, it was good. Oh, it, was it, was good. Good it was a good weekend. You actually <laughs> take a great time to always call me, as I'm sure you know. <laughs> always, right? <laughs> always great. Always, always good, always though. Good. All right, that's good. And I see Adam. Yeah, you can't keep a good man. You can't. You can't keep a good man down. Yeah, well, I noticed that. What's going on over there, man? Are you okay? I don't think so, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, man. So I'll let you say your spiel. Is that how we say it? Nice yes, shirt, that's, yes. Yes. Thank you, brother. Yes, it's the spiel. We're, we're, you've been uh, you've been hanging around with Jewish lawyers way too long. Way too long. Or, may, or, maybe way too long. or maybe not enough. <laughs> Good morning, All right, everybody. everybody. Good morning, man. Talk to me. Talk to me. I, I miss your intro, man. It's Monday. Listen, we're we're back in action. Back in action. We're, we're always active. Always action, action, but, uh, uh, but we're, but we're doing what we need to do here from the office here at 225 Broadway. We are Pollock Pollock Isaac Vesico. Good morning. My name is Adam Handler. They call me the case handler. Squeeze calls me the shark. But uh, I'm going to have some uh, difficulties this morning doing what I need to do. But I'd be remiss if I didn't say two things. Number one. Thank you for tuning in this morning. We are attorneys here to provide you legal answers to your legal questions for 100% free. And the good news for you is you are now officially cruising with the case handler, our show by attorneys. We've been in practice for uh, almost 60 years. Uh, Conrad, the maestro Pollock, the managing partner of the firm, uh, took over uh, for his dad uh, for about his dad, 37, about 37 years, ago, years ago, and we do some amazing <laughs> things. Uh, and uh, Squeeze, David Anneke, we've been doing a radio show together, talking, talking about, about law, 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 law for uh, probably now almost uh, two decades. Isn't that correct, Squeeze? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Way so, too long. So, right? so, so I need, I need not even ask you this question, but I will just to get a laugh out of uh, Nelson. You down with PPID? Come on, man. You know me. <laughs> oh, man. It's good, man. It's good to be here, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, right here on, of course, 93.5. And, you know, um, it's been a great weekend. And we're here jumping right back in action. So, Adam, I was just going to ask you. Um, let's jump into it, man. Let's start off with a, a, a true success story on the personal injury side. This show is about personal injury and, of course, uh, immigration. So we're we're going to start off with you and see what it is that you've got to tell the people. You have been so successful, of course, of um, garnering $120 million for your clients. So let's jump right into it and get it off with money this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's going to be a little difficult right now because we're, yeah, because we're, we're, we're doing this old, doing school. old school. I got an echo and I got my phone on. But uh, you, I let, why don't you tell everybody out there what you what? think about 
me uh, as an attorney as and, and as a person and just say wonderful say things. Wonderful I need thing, that right? on Monday morning. Because right now this is the show's not working for me. It's just uh, it's working just, uh, against working me. Against I'm, 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 a, I'm going up river with the paddle with uh, that with uh, yeah, I can't even get it out. <laughs> you, you talk PI. I'm going to sign back on. Sign back on. All right, no problem. Uh, I feel like I feel like uh, like I'm back in Jamaica, man, and I, I, you know, and I'm using the internet down there like I was the other day. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, of course, this is cruising with a case handler. Adam Handler happens to be a top personal injury attorney in this hemisphere. He has settled well over 120 million dollars for his clients. If and when you get hurt in an accident, you actually need Adam Handler, and Adam Handler is the man that will actually handle your case. A lot of people go out, out there, they just pick an attorney because they hear, oh, it's an attorney, that an attorney can get me some money. No, it's gotta be more than that, ladies and gentlemen. You need an attorney that knows what they're doing. You need an attorney that is going to go for the juggler, like I always say. Why do I call him the shark? He doesn't play around. He goes right for the money, the maximum compensation possible when it comes to, of course, ladies and gentlemen, you getting that money. So make sure you reach out to him. The number to call Adam Handler at, at the firm PPID, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico, located at 225 Broadway in New York City, happens to be 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. As we stand by for Adam Handler to rejoin us, let's jump right into immigration. And of course, we're going to Touch on Conrad Pollock now to bring us up to speed if there is any immigration news update. Huge, huge update, huge news. Um, the, uh, the uh, I'm, I'm echoing now also. Yeah, you are echoing. What the hell is going on this morning with everybody? Hmm. But, all right. Am I okay? No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, or maybe not. The, um, there was an action in federal court, um, uh, a lawsuit against the administration uh, regarding implementation of the new public charge rule, which took effect back in February, uh, the form, the application form I-944, which is just a bear to, to, to complete. It's 20 pages. It takes you hours to complete it. Uh, all kinds of documentation required. And every adjustment of status application and pretty much every relative application uh, requires that form in order to apply for your green card. Um, the administration's not so subtle way of discouraging people from applying for the green cards to legalize. Uh, anyway, there was an action in federal court basically saying that it was inhumane and cruel uh, for the administration to implement this new uh, uh, requirement and application form during a pandemic and the uh, district court shut it down uh, and the government backed off. And um, basically, as long as the pandemic is going on, the public charge rule is on hold. Uh, you don't need the I-944 application. You don't have to comply with the new rules. It goes back to the old rules prior to February. And um, that's some good news, albeit it might be temporary if, if the orange guy uh, happens to get reelected in November. But um, hopefully he won't. And hopefully we'll never see that public charge rule bear its ugly face again, hopefully. Uh, but for now, uh, it's really good news. People do not have to submit it. Um, so uh, good news there. On the other hand, um, always some bad news as well. Filing fees. We've been talking about filing fees going up for the longest time now, pretty much for the last several months. Uh, final rule came out. Filing fees are going up October 1st. Uh, the date is set. Um, the forms, uh, I rather the, 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 the fees in some cases are substantial. Uh, Citizenship, for instance, is nearly double. Uh, so I believe Nelson wrote is it like thirteen hundred dollars now uh, yes. to apply for citizenship? Yes, something please. like that. They implement they implemented a, a fifty dollar fee to apply for political asylum for the first time ever. Asylum applicants have to actually pay to uh, apply for asylum in the country, uh, and I believe we're one of three or four countries in the world uh, that charges a fee for political asylum now. Uh, various other application fees have gone up as well. Uh, but anyway, October 1st is the date, and um, that's pretty much it. Uh, DACA, of course, the government is continuing their assault on the DACA program. Uh, they're not accepting new applications. If you haven't applied before, they're not accepting them, although I'm sure there's going to be a lawsuit about that. Uh, in addition, um, extensions of DACA 
they're only giving a year now. Uh, previously, it was two years. Um, now it's only a year. Uh, any, did, I, did I miss anything, Nelson? No, you've pretty much covered it all. Okay. All right. There you have it. Okay. A little bit shaky this morning with this show. I don't know what's going on with everyone's station here. I'm but, back, baby. Uh, you're back. You're good now, Adam? I said you can't keep a good man down. All right. Thank you so much for bringing us up to speed, Conrad, on the immigration um, news tip, ladies and gentlemen. So I, I do believe that, uh, you know, that public charge issue being removed, um, the, the aggression of it is a good thing. Oh, it's what do you think? It's, it's a great thing. Nelson, I mean... Can I, oh, I, abso absolutely. I mean, that's major. We're in, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I mean, it just makes no sense to have these requirements when there's obviously a lot of people who are unemployed who may have to very well go on public assistance and get financial help in a time of crisis. So I, I completely agree. I think it's it's great. Yeah, you, th you think about it. You know, this rule this rule to choose, to choose either either go for medical care you know go for public assistance, public assistance. Housing, whatever it is um and if, if so risk not getting a green card or vice versa forego uh seeking care they might need forego seeking go seeking assistance and in order in order in order, order, order to green card I mean, it's just it's absolutely uh, uh, absurd and just cruel anyway yeah. anyway stop it, 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 and going on the public charge rule. Okay. Please, it's Please, your speaker, it's speaker brother. It's, it's repeating the sound. You may want to mute yourself, yourself or, or put some headphones on. Because oh, when you're muted, well, we well, sound great. Sound great. Oh. Although we really like to hear for you. See, perfect stuff. All right, listen, ladies, All right, and, listen, gentlemen. ladies and gentlemen. I think nope. there's a delay nope. on your side, Ben. I, uh, how dare you insinuate this? Because when you're on mute, we don't hear it. Don't hear Ladies and gentlemen, let me talk about a case, about a, case. Uh, a personal injury case. Mute, case. Squeeze, squeeze is going to mute himself. Mute I'm going to talk a little P.I. Uh, uh, so we don't you, burn you do so much that, air time. Adam, before you do that, can I just jump in? Yes, I'm brother, of course. Out, I'm going to cut out early. Yep. Um, I want to direct all, you, all the listeners that are out there today. I want to direct your attention on Netflix tonight. There's a new program. Yes. A, uh, a uh, documentary called Immigration Nation. Um, this is it should be fascinating. Uh, it's a six part uh, episode. Uh, it's a six part show on Netflix starting tonight uh, called Immigration Nation. And basically, there there were two uh, husband and wife team documentarians um, that were permitted by immigration over the past three years to go behind the scenes, to go into the detention centers, to go in with the agents and see exactly what was going on in terms of uh, how uh, ICE catches people, what the, what they say behind the scenes, the policies, how the agents feel, how the immigrants feel, of course. And again, government authorized. The government allowed this to happen because the way it's, this is this and this is great. Uh, the, the, the government saw this as a way, basically, more propaganda, more PR for the government to show, hey, look at the good stuff that we're doing to pre protect America. Right. Needless to say, uh, it kind of backfired. You know, they've got so the, these the, these filmmakers basically were there when they're putting kids in cages and ripping kids from their parents' arms. This is all on camera, right? They got all of this on camera. So after they finished the program, they finished filming. The government had a had a chance to review, and when they saw it, <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah, it, 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 they, it's like those documentaries it. when they do the interview, and you know, the other side is like taking it super seriously, but you can tell it's like slanted the other the other well, direction like those michael moore you know the government thought it was going to be a pro gov a pro a pro government uh documentary as it turned out when they saw it they freaked out because it made them look like the animals that they basically that the majority of them are and what they were doing to these people and how they were torturing them and how they were making light of the fact and laughing behind the scenes and 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 the government of course threatened to sue the filmmakers if they aired it well, um, went maybe back this and forth. Be... It went back and forth again. I, the filmmakers hired some good lawyers and basically shot the government down. And as a result, it's going to be on Netflix or, this week. And from what I'm hearing, preliminary reviews, it's really mind boggling, eye opening. The government tried to sue to force them not to show it before the election. I wonder why. 
Yeah. I wonder why. Yeah. Well, wow. Maybe, maybe, I, got, maybe, I got to see that tonight. Immigration Nation on Netflix. All right. Definitely worth seeing. We're all watching it. Ruthie's already seen the first episode. She said it's it, it's just mind boggling. Well, uh, hopefully that will be, uh, um, you know, an eye opening uh, experience for a lot of people that really don't understand the immigration situation or really understand the plight of, of immigrants that are trying to actually do good in this country and legitimize their status here in the United States. So uh, and also. Well, also, unfortunately, it shows you the uh, behind the scenes, how the government, the agents, well, some of them are, are confl very conflicted, apparently, in terms of what they're doing and not necessarily believing in the in the mission that's been set by the administration of basically just, you know, deporting everyone they can. It's, it's fascinating. Um, I, I've read a little bit about it. There have been some articles about it in various publications, but I certainly suggest everybody turn on their TV and watch Netflix tonight to see what it's all about. Uh, I'm sure we'll be talking about it for the rest of this week on the show. Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> Ruthie's okay. been texting. Ruthie's been texting me all morning. Ruthie's our marketing manager. She's been texting me all morning to, 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 to tell everybody to watch. In fact, she said it's already out that you could watch. It's on Netflix already. So that's yeah. there. Yeah. I'm, there I'm seeing, I'm seeing the, uh, the promo for it here and we're yep. showing it, uh, yes. for everybody. And, uh, the good news is ladies and gentlemen, if you do not have Netflix, you call Conrad and he will give you his login and his password. He go. wants so many people to watch this show that he's going to be giving out passwords like they're uh, hotcakes right now. It's true. Well, you know, Nelson doesn't know it, but I've been using his, his information. So I'm happy to <laughs> read it. Yes. His password is Nelson Madrid <laughs> at AOL.com password. The Maverick. <laughs> Squeeze, you're on mute, brother. It's, mute, brother. it's one, two, three, four, five. That's the password. That's the password, <laughs> right? Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk a little personal injury. Again, we are Paul, Paul, Isaac Zasico. Uh Today, uh, the show's off to, you know, kind of a shaky start. But, uh, um, you know, listen, the message, even though the, the broadcast is not clear, the, the message is going to be clear. Uh, we are attorneys. We're here to help you. Uh, we've been helping people uh, for decades and decades uh, with all of their legal needs. Uh, this show particularly discusses immigration and personal injury, and we are practicing attorneys, meaning we're the actual attorneys working on your case, and we love what we do. Um, again, my name is Adam Handler. I handle the personal injury cases. I'm the partner of that department, uh, and uh, Conrad and, and, and Nelson are the partners of the immigration department. We're here to help. We're here to give back to the community that's embraced us for so many years. Uh, our phone number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID-LAW. All you have to do is give that number a call. You know why? Because once you call that number and somebody picks up, you can ask any question under the sun, as long as it's related uh, to legal practice. And we're here to answer those questions for 100% free. Uh, it's truly amazing, and it's something that we are super excited to do uh, in an effort to give back to those communities that have embraced us for so many years. Um, I handle the personal injury cases, like I said, and we can certainly discuss uh, a personal injury case right now. I'm not even sure right now if we're even live on the radio or just streaming on Facebook, but we'll leave that to squeeze and all that, the technical issues that he's dealing with to figure that out. Um, this photograph that you see right here, uh, two lovely ladies. The lady on the left uh, is my paralegal, Sandra Taylor. Uh, she's been with me now for almost 12 years. We've done some incredible things and uh, all of my success uh, wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for Sandra. Uh, you know, they say behind every man is an even better woman. And that's certainly true of Sandra. And I wasn't there to take the picture that day, but she was with Monique uh, who wanted to keep her, conf her settlement confidential. And, you know, I love these quotes. Uh, Squeeze usually reads them, but uh, Squeeze, can you read that quote or are we, uh, we still on the echo? All right, I'll do it myself. Uh, Adam, <laughs> I love this one. Adam is the best. Uh, they are a good team that works really well together. The case handler team at PPID is empathetic and truly cares for their clients. They will bend over backwards for their clients just how they did for me. I would recommend Adam Handler without hesitation. And that's Monique from Cambria Heights. So a, a wonderful case, a wonderful client, and uh, obviously super excited to get that big, big check. She didn't want people knowing exactly how much she got, but she was in an auto accident and uh, you know hurt her neck, hurt her back, hurt her shoulders. 
uh, did therapy, uh, did everything she needed to do to heal her body. And then we took care of the rest. We made sure that all her medical bills were paid. And then of course, got her that really nice big settlement um, for her pain and suffering. And Monique, like every other client out there, uh, only has one chance to get it right. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't ex express enough, can't stress enough rather, that you have one chance to get this right. And you have one choice, a lawyer. And that's what we say, one chance, one choice. I'm your case handler. Uh, the phone number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Uh, Nelson, you've been taking a lot of these um, immigration calls, uh, immigration questions. Uh, can you tell me about some of the questions and some of the concerns people were having uh, with respect to uh, immigration? Sure. Um, a lot of the listeners and viewers have been calling with questions uh, regarding basically their case. Their case is stagnant, has not moved forward. Um, they haven't received a decision or they've gotten a request for evidence. They've gotten a notice of intent to deny, um, you know, definitely a lot going on right now in immigration. Um, you know, fortunately, we've been able to help some people. Some people we have not been able to assist, um, but we are doing free consultations, free phone consultations. Um, if you give us a call at 844-774-3529, that's 844-774-3529. Four four seven seven four three five two nine. We'd be happy to speak to you and see if we can be of assistance with your case. Great, and thanks for pointing out to me that uh, we weren't showing that picture. Um, how about now? Can you see it now? Now we can see your. All picture. right, there she is. There's Sandra. There's Monique. There's that big fat uh, case handler check again. Confidential settlement. Um, and you know, every Tuesday we post what's called Testimonial Tuesday. It's a uh, true life success story about this case or about other cases. And it's just what we do here, man. And millions and millions and millions of dollars for our clients. We're happy to do it. Um, we're proud to do it. And uh, we're going to keep on doing it. We're going to keep fighting the good fight because certainly when uh, you're in an accident and uh, you know the insurance companies are up against you, they're trying to get you uh, off off as, as, as cheap as possible. And, and we have the exact opposite approach. We want to get you as much as possible. And uh, we're, we're proud of the work we do here. And again, our phone number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. And Nelson, it's just you and I right now. Can you imagine? I, I, see. I, can, I can actually, uh, I, Conrad is uh, no longer with us at the moment. So yeah. So I, you, uh, can, you, can, you can have your have Maverick time. You I, You can oh, have your I, Maverick hour right now. Listen, I don't, that's what I was about to say. I really don't need the Maverick minute. I've got more than a minute oh, right boy. now. <laughs> But, um, you know, Adam, I think you've said this before, you know, I think what separates us from many other law firms is that we genuinely care about our clients. True. Um, and I think that's important to put out there. Um, I, I've met with clients um, and I sit down and I ask them many questions to determine whether or not if we can be of any assistance. And uh, many times I have clients say, you know, I've met with two or three other lawyers before I met with you and no lawyer has taken the time that you've taken to actually speak to me and get to know me and ask me questions about my case. And I think that's very important. You know, you only get one chance to make a first impression. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there, you know, again, to everyone who is listening and watching us on Facebook, give us a call 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Three, five, two, nine. Yeah, and that and that's a really good point, Nelson. You know, results don't results don't lie, and we can never guarantee um, any kind of result in any case whatsoever. But we've been doing this long enough that I think we have a very good, uh, keen sense on, on a case that can be won, and a case that's just you know not something that we want to be involved in. Because the last thing we want to do, you know, is get into a case and then later on say there's nothing we can do to help you. Uh, that's certainly not fair to you. It's not fair to us. You know, I'm not saying we only take winners, you know, we're in it to fight the difficult fights, but we know, you know, when there is a fight to be had. And as long as there is a fight to be had, nobody is going to fight harder for you than Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSico. Nobody's going to fight harder for you than Nelson, than Matthew, than myself, than Conrad, than um, Alexandra, 
then Alan, then everybody else that we associate ourselves with, because uh, we can't say we're the best. Squeeze can say we're the best. He, he always does. But I'll say we're really, you are. really. You guys good. are. I mean, come on. Look, look how great you are. The only man that decided to take my phone call this past Saturday was Nelson Madrid. OK, the, the man who blew up the phone lines on Saturday. I, I, I hope you noticed that, Adam. I mean, listen, you are the $120 million man. He's the immigration man. All right. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to you guys. You know, you guys are truly, genuinely the best. And I, I say that with honesty. When it comes to immigration, personal injury, and more, I mean, it's good to have a law firm representing the Caribbean community. All right. Where would people go? What would they do? I mean, people, you want them to go to the lady on the corner of Gunnell Road, okay, down there in the Eastern Parkway, that dude on that corner. I'm speculating here, but seriously, ladies and gentlemen, you all, we all need PPID, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. And that's the reason why I say to each and every one, give them a ring, call them now. Everyone will get that free phone consultation, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. 844-774-3529. Let's go to the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue on this side. Adam, thanks a lot for holding me down, man. Of course. You know, hey, listen, that's a, what we do, man. We're, we're a team here. And uh, as long as we're getting the message out, ladies and gentlemen, that we are a law firm that does things very, very differently. Uh, I don't care how we do it or, or, or who's hosting it or who's on or who's off. The message is very clear. Um, we are very, 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 very good attorneys here to fight for you like family because we understand. You know, the stakes are high. You generally have one shot to get it right. And that's a heavy task that's burdened to our firm. And we won't let you down. Squeeze, I say it all the time. Whenever you send somebody to me or whenever we have this discussion about a case, what do I say? I say, Squeeze, I'm not going to let you down. And if you take that approach, um, then you're, you're always going to come out on top or at least go down fight. Listen, nothing is perfect. We understand that. But nobody is going to fight for you like family like Paul, Paul, guys, the Seco does. I mean, I'm a third generation attorney, Conrad, second generation attorney. Uh, you know, we know what it is. It's in our blood. And uh, all you have to do is give us that phone call and, and give us the honor of being your attorneys. And our phone number again is 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID-LAW. Absolutely. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cruising with a Case Handler. You can check it out each and every single weekday morning right here on 93.5 and also of course on facebook we're genuinely here to help each and every one when it comes to multiple capacities in of course law we spoke about personal injury that's adam handler we call him the shark a k a b case handler and of course we have the maverick when it comes to immigration with that said we're about to jump into um immigration questions are you ready nelson the let's lone the see. lone man you have let's the higher floor for yourself let's, I, mean, I, let's could go. I could try to answer them but uh that that may be uh an interesting no, adam, you stick to the money. adam stick to the money stick to getting people millions of dollars that's what you're good at man okay yeah you love getting your clients money please stick stick to just getting the clients a lot of money that's good it yeah good idea all right so let's jump into immigration first question here says my h1b extension was filed last year and i am still waiting for their response my license has expired and they will not renew it till my H1 was approved. I recently applied for my I-485 final stage of my employment-based green card and I got a receipt for it. The question is, will they renew my license if I show them the I-485 receipt or do I need to wait for the GCEAD? I don't even know what that is. That's uh, the green card EAD. That's employment oh, authorization. Yeah, yeah. So anytime you file for so, so let's just backtrack right quickly. Mm -hmm. I-485 is an application for adjustment of status. So this person is obviously in the process of obtaining a green card. Right. When you're in the process of obtaining a green card and you have an application for adjustment of status pending, you're eligible for employment authorization. Um, in order to renew your driver's license, it's my understanding that they typically want a valid employment authorization card. So to answer her question, the receipt notice is not enough. She should probably wait to receive her actual employment authorization card. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, she should be able to renew her driver's license. There you have it. The Maverick answering the immigration question. Do remember to call 844 774 
844 774 3529. That's 844 774 3529. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, cruising with the case handler, personal injury, and of course, immigration each and every single weekday at 8.30 a.m. right here, Saturdays and Sundays, respectively, 7 p.m. and 12 noon. Let's go to question number two for immigration. If I travel to the U.S. to obtain a marriage license on my tourist visa and come back, can I later apply for my I-130 or spouse visa? Uh, uh, that that gets a little complicated. Um, when, you enter, when you enter the United States on a tourist visa, your trip is supposed to be temporary in nature. If you marry someone entering, you know, if you enter the United States as a tourist and marry someone shortly thereafter, um, you may have issues eventually returning to the United States. Um, your intent. That's right, uh, because obviously intent. Um, you know, if you marry someone, you go back home, and now you try to come back. You know, immigration can interpret that as obviously you plan on now remaining in the United States. So it's something to be careful of. Um, obviously, if that is how they see this, um, they can cancel your green card. I'm sorry, cancel your uh, visa rip up your visa or deny your visa. Um, I've seen that happen. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, don't don't just, fall in love on your vacation. Is that what just, you're saying? Ju well, no, it's, it, it, it depends. I mean, obviously everything depends on the facts. I would need more facts. I'm giving some general information here. But um, a visiting it, visa is a visitor's visa. Correct, correct. Visiting, you know? That is, that is correct. But obviously there are exceptions to all rules, mm -hmm. right? Um, right. let, let's, let's change the fact pattern around. So you enter the United States on a visitor visa, you remain in the United States indefinitely, you never leave, you know, you eventually somewhere down the line marry a United States citizen, then yes, you would be eligible for a green card. You know, but at the same time though, Nelson and Adam, if one comes into the United States on a visitor's visa, they really should not necessarily overstay on their visa. If after 90 days, they, they see that, hey, you know, they fell in love with someone or they were in love with someone and they decided, hey, you know what? I really want to stay here with my loved one. I really want to marry this person. And uh, they decided to do that. What they actually should do is come to you rather than overstaying their visa and screwing up the process. Shouldn't they come to you? Absol absolutely. And I was going to say that, um, you know, again, this is just general information, obviously, for mm. a much more uh, at length conversation, they should definitely give us a call 844-774-3529. But yes, you know, you want to be careful anytime you travel on a visitor visa, um, simply because if you overstay that visa, now you've accrued what's called unlawful presence, unlawful presence of six months or more will subject you to a three year ban, unlawful presence of a year or more would subject you to a 10 year ban. So these yeah. are things you just want to be careful. So, and, and obviously, and I've heard you say this before, Nelson, you know, things go much smoother um, legalizing your status here in the United States and less expensive when you play by the rules. Absolutely. Anyway, Right. You know, I mean, exactly. there, are, there are ways to do this um, legally and, and, and rather rather easy. I mean, immigration rules are tough, but they're, they're not impossible to get through. And again, I'm not an immigration attorney, but I've been serving the immigrant community uh, for 95% of my career. 95% of my legal career has been dealing with clients that are either immigrants or families of immigrants. And that's why I'm here at Paul, Paul Isaac DeSico. You know, I needed to make sure that I brought my practice, my personal injury practice um, to a law firm that did do substantial amount of immigration and were good at it because my clients and their family have immigration issues. So I can just walk them down the hall to Nelson or Nelson picks up the phone or Conrad picks up the phone. And we've had so many cases together, Nelson, in which I've heard you say to these people over and over, play by the rules and we can help you start bending the rules and you're going to make it much more difficult for your family and of course much more expensive so it all starts with that phone call i can't express enough how easy it is to get the answers you need how clear of a path you have once you call that phone number 844-774-3529 and it's free it's not even like yeah, you got to give us a, a credit card deposit or you got to send us a check in the mail and then we'll speak to you. It's 100% no strings attached for free. 
And uh, if you don't seize that opportunity, then uh, listen, maybe you deserve to be deported and never come back to the United States. Because well, let me say something here. Let me say something, and I'm going to make it clear. And I'm quite sure you have not heard me say this in a while, Adam. And this is the first time that Nelson's going to hear me say it. There's absolutely no need. If you're out of status and you're out there, there is absolutely no need for you to climb over the fence when you can walk through the gate. There's no need. Don't climb over the fence when you can walk through the gate because everyone is doing it. No, you can walk through the gate. If you are here in the United States and uh, you know you decide to make a change, all you have to do is call Nelson. Just call him and say, hey, here's the situation and let him present the best scenario for you. And that's what PPID is all about. Don't be listening to your mom, your uncle, your aunt, you know, no, go with the professionals, go with the attorney, go with the maverick, go with Nelson Maverick, go with the firm, PPID. Ladies and gentlemen, make the call, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. You're already here. So walk through the gate or walk through the door and that door needs to be PPID. 844-774-3529. Nelson, you're about to say something? Yeah, you know, David, I, I just wanted to add, um, it, sometimes it's good to just get a second opinion. Thank you. you no, know, I, can't, I can't tell you how many clients I've helped legalize their status or I've gotten a deportation uh, or removal order reopened um, right. because their prior attorney was incompetent, because their prior attorney did not know what they were doing, because they were eligible for an immigration benefit that their prior attorney just simply never identified. You know, so again, I mean, as Adam says, it doesn't really cost you anything. It's a phone call. It's a free phone call. Um, but give us a call, 844-774-3529. There you go. Final question here on Cruising with a Case Handler, a show on personal injury and also immigration. I'm very proud of these attorneys as to what it is that they have done for not just the Caribbean community, but beyond. Remember, the number for the firm is 844-774-3529. Thank you all so much for sharing on Facebook. Also, you've all done a wonderful job. Linda, Shaw, Denisa, Carolyn, Anderson, the Tiger, Team Squeeze, thank you so much for sharing and building up our momentum on Facebook, on social media. And let's go to the uh, final question I see here. This is a pretty long one, Nelson, so brace yourself. I have a query regarding USCIS. Case I-130, family-sponsored F4 category, my aunt has filed this case for my father in February, 2010. In September, 2014, our case was denied and we filed a motion to reopen, reopen rather. Since then, our USCIS case stats shows our case was reopened and it never changed to date. Although in January, 2015, we received a letter with a NVC case number saying that the NVC received the petition but due to visa unavailability, it is not eligible for further processing at this time. And they will contact us once it is eligible for further processing. I wanted to know if our case has been accepted after the denial, after the denial and will our priority date remain the original one providing during case filing? And I'm reading verbatim here. So. That's, a, that's a great question. Uh, F4 is the typically the brother or sister of a United States citizen. The priority date on that is 2006. Mm -hmm. So if that case was filed in 2014, the priority date is not yet current. You're still, you know, obviously eight years away. Um, the fact that it was denied and it was reopened all makes sense. Um, of course, again, they can't take further action on the case because the priority date is not current. Um, we're in the year 2020. They're processing cases from 2006. So typically this type of case takes about 14 years. Okay, so it's something you have to monitor once the priority date is current, then you can move forward with that case. Until then, there is nothing you can do. And squeeze, just so you know, we've actually had uh, one of the viewers give us a call with a very similar question. Wow. Um, and she was taken aback because she said, well, I want to hire you. I said, but you, there's nothing I can do. So, <laughs> right. so you can't represent. I said, it's, it's eight years away. There's nothing, I, I can't expedite it. I can't why, make it. Why should you take that money and you can't expedite it? Yeah, I got you. I see what you. They you know, want to throw money at you and you're being honest saying, no, keep that, your money. That, that's, that, that, that's absolutely correct. Yeah, and, yeah. and she was taken aback. You know, Adam often says this, you know, um, I took a case um, 
where a gentleman was ordered, removed on multiple occasions, came back, got caught. Mm -hmm. um, we took a deposit. I did some research and I realized there was nothing we can do. We could do. I gave him a check back and I said, I'm sorry, I can't help you. And my client said to me, you gave me money back? <laughs> I said, there's nothing I can do. Right. And he said, that's not, I'm just in shock. Yeah. You know, um, because attorneys don't refund money. Exactly. Said, They're not sorry, used to that. That, that's right. You paid me for, you paid me for the research, but I can't take this case to fruition. Right. So, you know, again, that's how we work. You know, um, I'm not going to sell you a dream. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you the truth. And again, this person, you know, your case is still potentially maybe eight years out, you know, not only me, but I don't think any other attorney can help you streamline or make your case go any faster. So and you, sleep, and you sleep better at night too. Absolutely. Absolutely. There, there you go. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, on the immigration side, you have uh, heard uh, Nelson give you his thoughts and opinion of how he feels about practicing immigration law. Um, give him a call. Very honest, very straightforward individual, not taking you for a ride anytime at all. All right. The number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Adam Handler, my co-pilot here, Hi, brother. We'll ask him to take us out on the personal injury side. He's the top personal injury attorney for the Caribbean community and the most celebrated personal injury attorney. And we're extremely proud as to what it is that he has done for a people. So once again, do remember the number is 844-774-3529. Adam. You know, the message today is very simple. Uh, nothing's perfect. And that's clearly uh, demonstrated by this show. You know, we had some technical issues in the beginning of it. But when you fight through it, when you give it your best, when it's important enough for you to get the message through, whether it's on the radio, on Facebook Live or in court, you know, good attorneys, hardworking and dedicated individuals are going to succeed. And that's exactly what we do here at the firm, Paul, Paul Isaac Seco. That's exactly what I've done and pride myself on uh, for the past 17 years practicing law. I'm about to be on my 18th year practicing law, which means that if I started uh, when I was uh, a baby, a uh, newborn, I could you know, be voting soon. You know? And uh, if you want to vote for a law firm, uh, I would suggest you vote with the winners, Paul, Paul Isaac Seco. Again, we do things very, very differently here. Um, you know, we pride ourselves on working as hard as we can uh, for the people that are important to us. And everybody knows that family is important to them. And we treat our clients like family. And that's the approach we take. So if you want great lawyers that are going to treat your case like it's their most important case, if you want great lawyers that are going to strive for the best possible result for you and your family, whether it's personal injury, uh, which is what I handle, or immigration, that uh, Nelson, the Maverick Madrid, or uh, Conrad, the Maestro Pollock handles, uh, you're going to give us a call. Uh, we've been successful in the past. We can never guarantee success in the future. But you know what? They say uh, the past is a great indicator of the future. And if you want to put yourself in the best possible position to be a very happy lady or a very happy man um, at the end of your case, uh, you'll have our number and you'll give us a call and you'll keep it saved and, and use it when you need to. 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID-LAW. Thanks for the platform today, Squeeze. Uh, glad we got the message out. Glad we're through uh, with this particular episode of cruising with the case handler. But we'll be back, of course, tomorrow, bright and early, 8.30 a.m. on 93.5 FM, streaming live on Facebook as well. Because I said it earlier and I'll say it again. You can't keep a good man down. You can't keep a good firm down. We're here to help. We want to help. Let us help. We are Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSico. Squeeze, you down with PPID? Come on, you know me. Right. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for joining us here this morning. Adam, you have to end our show because you are the host, not even a co-host anymore since I had logged off. I get, I, once I press this red <laughs> button, we're off. Once you press the button that says stop the live stream, we are done. All, all right. right. I'll tell you what, I'll let Nelson count it down. From five, Nelson. Count it down from five, brother. Five, four, three, two, one. Adios.
There you go. There you go.